With me I have Michelle Martinez. Uh, she is a lifestyle coach and also a dietary counselor. So you, you specialize in a certain kind of diet and, mm -hmm. and what is that? Plant-based nutrition. I got my certificate through Cornell University through the T. Colin Campbell Foundation. He wrote a book called The China Study. Yes. And um, I decided to pursue that because it helped me to um, heal some conditions that I had. What, what were you dealing with? Uh, well, a female condition called in, in, uh, endometriosis. Yes. And it uh, can be quite painful. Extremely painful. Yeah. And the medical options that I found said it could either come back or. Um, total hysterectomy, those mm -hmm. options did not appeal to me. Either like birth control pills or right. hysterectomy. Right, yeah. right. So, and I was too young for that. Yeah. So I did some research on my own, found that there were some alternatives, kept working with it, and then I'm fine now. Wonderful, yeah. so just with, with diet, with plant-based diet, you were able to get rid of endometriosis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So a lot of women obviously dealing with a lot of female concerns, mm -hmm. and this is kind of one of those that uh, expresses itself as really challenging for them. Yeah, well, and it's not just endometriosis. I wrote a book on um, women who have naturally uh, reduced their fibroids, yeah. uh, reduced polycystic ovary syndrome, uh, infertility, a lot of different things. So, And, and all just with plant-based diet, mm -hmm. and they can correct all these hormonal issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit more about the diet. What does it look like? I mean, what, how do you practically go about doing that? Great question. So the American diet has gotten the acronym, the SAD or standard American diet. Yeah. And the rich diet that we eat has really been the underlying cause for a lot of you know, heart disease, cancer, and diabetes, not to mention arthritis, a lot of autoimmune, um, even dementia. Yeah. And when we look at populations outside of the United States, um, Asia, for example, uh, Africa, they don't have the same rates of those diseases that we do here in America. And so it's easy to think that, oh, it's just genetics. Yeah. But what's interesting is migration studies have shown that when they move over to this country and they adopt this diet, even with their same genetics, their rates of disease match those of in America. So it's more the dietary habits of wherever they're at. Yeah, yeah. And so um, what's interesting is here in America, because we all eat the same, we expect when we get diabetes or heart disease that it's not going to get any better because yeah. we don't know anybody who it's gotten better. Exactly. And yet, not only can a plant-based diet prevent that from happening, but in a lot of cases it can actually even reverse it once it's um, taken foothold. So a, a person coming to you, uh, you're, you'll guide them then with you know, how to eat properly and how to correct their dietary habits and they can then reverse things such as diabetes and heart disease and also you mentioned them female hormonal mm -hmm. just based upon what they're eating. Yeah, so I have a 30 or 60 day program and also 90 day and um, I work with their doctor so I don't touch their medications. They have to let their doctor know and the doctor can adjust the medications. Yeah. Um, I go to their homes, I help them with not only diet but also exercise. Yeah. And then with the diet we could go through cupboards, we can do recipes, I've been holding a lot of recipe classes um, because people have three expectations about eating healthier. Yeah. It's gonna be expensive, mm -hmm. it's gonna be time consuming and it's not gonna taste good. Okay, and are they right? No. 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 Five to ten minutes, um, no more than what you're currently spending. And I, in the farmer's market every Saturday, would make recipes out of produce and little kids loved it. Really? Uh-huh. So it tastes good, mm -hmm. it's less expensive, and it's healthier for you. I wouldn't say less expensive, depending, I mean, if you're eating out a lot, it might be less expensive, but yeah. even if you're just breaking even, yeah. you know, you're going to be saving on medications if you're paying out of pocket. But that, that is huge. Mm -hmm. And so how, how does plant-based medicine really work? Well, what they're finding is that there's a lot of um, things, proteins and fats within animal foods that are highly inflammatory to yeah. the human body. And so it works by removing that so the body can heal. But then there's a lot of healing antioxidants and vitamins and minerals and plant foods that help the body's immune system to actually repair itself. So it's kind of a one-two punch of really mm -hmm. supporting the body. I mean, if I go and I cut my finger, my body heals that without me doing anything about it, yeah. you know? And so it's the same concept of if I stop smoking, my lungs actually start repairing itself if I quit injuring my body. Exactly. 
So can't a, a person, you mentioned like antioxidants, well, can't people just take a pill like vitamin C and vitamin A? Great question. Um, studies have actually shown that um, vitamin A in pill form can actually be harmful. Yeah. And there's so there's such a synergy of compounds and plant foods that work together mm -hmm. that when we take things in isolation, we're not enabling them to work synergistically. Um, and when there's there's compounds that they're still discovering, yeah. so those compounds aren't yet put in those vitamin and pill forms. So just to isolate, you know, one little component, thinking that that is all that it is in that food, you know, it's, it's you know, like you're saying, it's almost ludicrous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and then we get this take a pill mentality where we think I can go and eat this way and then just take a pill and it'll cancel it out. And that's like me saying, oh, I can smoke a cigarette, but if I take this antioxidant pill, I can, you know, negate the effects of the smoking. Yeah, exactly. So uh, uh, the best way then to contact you, I mean, you, you, you're all going to offer classes now. We, we got the holidays coming up soon mm -hmm. and you're going to be offering classes and you can help them then to eat healthy through the holidays and you'll have some special offers and well, the 30-day program seems to be the most popular, and yeah. it's actually in-home is where I found the most effective to help people to change their daily lifestyle habits. Yeah. So I actually travel to their home. Um, we can, you know, help them with shopping, whatever. Mm -hmm. And yes, I do have gift certificates available, so if somebody wanted to buy that program for a loved one, knowing yeah. that that might not be something that they would treat themselves to, then that's available. Oh, wonderful. Well, thank you very much for, for coming to the show. Yeah, well, thank you for having me. My pleasure. We'll be right back.